Yo, what's up guys, Super, today I have a quest card for you on the quest Shadow of the Storm. This quest can be started by speaking to FR Reen, or Father Reen, in Alcarid, south of the bank. You must have completed Demon Slayer, the Golem, and have 30 crafting. The items you're gonna need are three pieces of black clothing. Now, there are only certain pieces of clothing you're allowed to wear. <clears throat> I highly recommend just buying, or if you already have a uh, priest gown that's black and... Um, as well as a wizard hat that's black. You can get this one by in Port Serum at the person who sh uh, sells runes, and you can find these in the Varric clothing store by talking to Vasilia. Vasilia, Vasilia. You also need a ring of dueling. I do like this a lot, for some reason, sorry. Uh, sorry if that annoys you. Um, ring of dueling is recommended, you don't need it, it's recommended to teleport back to Alcarid when you bank up for your fight. A thousand coins, pestle and mortar, silver light, silver bar, four water skins, or an enchanted water tiara, a vial, and some food. Now you will have to fight a level 100 uh, demon, but you can bank before the fight so you don't need anything to fight him at the moment. Let's talk to Father Reen to start the quest. Say that's me. <laughs> Thanks Sarah Domit, I found you. <clears throat> and basically another demon pops up, Denath or something like that. And so it looks like we already started Shadow of the Storm. Alright, and there we go. So with you speak to his partner, Baden, who would, who is an oozer. To get to oozer, run south. And you're going to take a carpet ride where you just need to... Buy a shanty pass or a shante pass. I say shanty or shante. I think sh shanty sounds better. So let's buy a pass from him really quick. Let's go through the gate <clears throat> and hand over your pass. Make your way through. Run over to the carpet person over here and click travel and click user, which is the top option. He'll let you go for 100 coins, and you'll make the carp right over there. And I don't need to record this part, so I will begin recording once I land. Alright, so once you've landed, if you did not bring the mushroom ink with you, which you had no reason to, because I didn't tell you to, <laughs> um, you just need to pick a mushroom over here in the black, in the black, the black mushroom. Use your pestle and mortar on the mushroom, and you're going to get some black mushroom ink. Now, the father will be just right here and say that Reen sent you. Ask more about Agrith Nar. Tell me more about Denath. Denath. Why has he come to Uzer? Foul construct, you mean the goblin? Um, keep talking. So what do you want me to do? How can I do that? So we're going to need to find a way to convince the evil members to let, the, to let you into their group. This is where your three pieces of black clothing come in handy. Now run east into the cave. Go down. And then run north. Now, with your, uh, with your mushroom ink, use it on your silver lights to get a black silver light. Talk to Evil Dave. And tell him that you want to join. I want to join your group. I'm evil. Evil black sword. There we go. We're going to make our way to the evil black place. And you're just going to follow evil, evil Dave. Check out Tanya, evil bitch. Sorry. Bad language. Alright, so. Yeah, he's totally evil. So, anyways, talk with this guy. And ask him what you have to do. And he'll tell you what you have to do. So, should be good now. Now, one thing I forgot to mention was talk to Denath again. 
ask him what the incantation is or incantation. Write this down as it's different for everyone. I'm just gonna write down the first few letters. So, uh, Cal, Cam, Agna, Na, Tar. So that's what it is for me. It's gonna be different for everyone. So don't copy what I have. Make sure you write your own one down, just like it was in Demon Slayer. All right. So to get the mold run over to Jennifer who will gladly give you a sigil molds and that's what you need to make the sigil so we'll go ahead and teleport to the dueling arena and once you're there you're gonna end up right here you need to go to the furnace just south and I'll meet you guys there okay once you're th oh fix my mic sorry once you're at the furnace, go ahead and click on it. And use your uh, silver bar on it and make a demonic sigil. Sigil. Look at this badass thing. Sweet. Just fucking chant with it. Okay, now you guys gotta go gear up for the fight. So I'm gonna go to the bank and show you what I'm wearing for the fight with Agrith. Nah. Again, there's just a bank south of the furnace. Alright, guys, so this is what my inventory looks like. I have rune. I'm using melee to fight him. I have my uh, D skim, Addy plate, or kite shield. Should probably should be something better. Whatever. Uh, Amy of power. You guys can see. I also have a DDS to spec. But remember, when you're fighting him, your final blow has to be with the silver knight, which is now the black silver light. I said silver knight. I'm pretty sure silver light. And that's pretty much it. So what else you need? Uh, you need the demonic sigil. And I believe that's it. Bring a water. I brought a water skin as well. I brought a prayer potion as well. Your, the demon you'll be fighting attacks with melee and mage, so it's highly recommended to have mage protect on for the fight. But anyways, that's all you need, and I'll meet you guys at Uja. Alright, so once you made your way back, make sure you're wearing your black armor again. And make your way down this hole, and run up north to talk to Dave to get through the passage. Or you can just click on enter door with these little triangles on it. Or semi triangle, diamonds. Talk to Matthew once you can make your way in here. Um, say yes. <laughs> Do you know what happened to Joseph? Some scary shit happened. Basically, Denath killed Joseph or something like that. So, run back out to the portal and out through these stairs. Climb up the stairs. And once you make your way out here, you're going to talk to the golem. Who should be wandering around out here. There he is, the golem. Clay golem. Basically, ask him. Um, he saw a guy running out here and he said that one the guy who got killed which is Joseph of course hot hell or hid the book in one of the broken kilns so these kilns are just around here just search them until you find a demonic book So here's the book. Read the demonic tomb, or yeah, tome, tomb, tome, and make your way through it. It's gonna be a strange little book that you have to show to Matthew. So make your way back to Matthew, who is again the guy you talked to before. So once you're in here, talk to Matthew. You gotta talk about the book. Show him the book. And some crazy shit's gonna happen. Or basically, you realize that this guy is actually the demon. Ah! Okay, and eventually, everybody's gonna make way to the middle of the circle, and then I say it's gonna be time for the ritual. 
which I assume is like right here or something. There we go. I, I will I will I now? Okay, let's chant. So here's where your chant comes. So Cal, Caldar, Cam, Camarinthium, Camarinthum, Agrithra, Nar, sorry, Na, Nahadu, Nahudu, and Tarin. And that should uh, do it. And this guy's gonna walk in and fucker disappears. And he's gonna leave his demonic sigil. And it's all of a sudden some crazy shit's gonna happen. So the portal's closing. And everybody's gonna be like, oh, get out of here. Um, so you gotta take his sigil and find one person to help. So basically, I'm gonna equip some stuff to get more inventory space. I'm gonna drop this water skin. And I'm gonna take this sigil and now, whoops, make my way back. These guys are gonna chill in here, like whatever. Enter the portal. Here you're going to see Tanya get destroyed by three ghosts, that's sad. She's going to drop bank loot in the demonic sigil. Now go to this corner up here and take the strange implement on the ground. Once out here, or once you have it, run over here to these stairs. Ugh, I'm walking, fuck. Check out that pose, damn! Oh wait, no, Evil Dave. Talk to Evil Dave. Uh, I need more inventory space. I'm gonna drop this tomb. And say, you've got to get back to the throne room. Our only hope is that uh, I need eight people. Okay, so there we go. Now he's going to make his way back to the portal. And what you need to do now is make your way up here. Now random rocks will hit you, so look out. <clears throat> There's a massive-ass sandstorm going on outside. Talk to Father Baden. Okay, so you have to give him the ritual, or the, the sigil. And now talk to the clay golem. What can it mean? And you basically need to reprogram him. Alright, so. You need to make your way over to the golem and use the strange implement on him, I believe. Remove that one. Now talk to him. And you should. There we go. So he disappears with the sigil. Now talk to the last person, Father Reen. And um, you need to give him the other sigil. And just like that, he goes in. Finally, you have your own sigil, and you can climb back down. And just look out for these random rocks that will get in here. So enter the door, and he should be in here. And now make your way over here, where the other people will be. Once in here, talk to Matthew. Unfortunately, he's going to be killed. Spoiler alert. Sad, sad day. And 
and he'll give you the book back, which is nice. So talk to him again, and say yes. He's gonna gulp. Poor guy's gonna die. You need to make your way over and start the chant. Here's where the fun begins. Now make your way to the circle and hit chant. And remember the code you wrote down earlier. You need to do it backwards. So we're gonna start with Terran. Nahudu. Agrithnar. Camarinthum and Kaldar. And that should do it. The demon's gonna pop out. He's a big guy. Level 100. And he's gonna scream Matthew. And he kills Matthew, unfortunately. Poor guy. And say that you summoned him. So, basically, you equip your armor. He's really easy to kill. Put some magic on. And go ahead and attack him. He, uh, you can either do it two ways, you can, um, actually, what do we call it, you can wear high mage armor and protect melee, or you can wear high uh, melee armor and protect mage, one of those two. So basically I'm just going to spec him out, rainbows, he's pretty easy to kill, if you have DDS you can just pretty much random him like I am, no big deal, I don't even so I'm gonna get on for that. Duh, oh, my prayer being so wasted. And he has pretty low hit points. All these guys are just chilling around, walking around, no big deal. Just not watching the biggest fight of the century. And your final light has to be with the silver light. So you can put that on. Come on. Come okay, on. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. There we go. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Hit. Oh my god. Splash one more time, see what happens. There we go. There we go! So the silver light is a lovely dark light. And now you get to pick some skills. I'm gonna pick... Uh, I don't know, should I... Uh, mm, uh, I'm gonna pick strength. Or should I do defense? I'll do strength. Oh no, it's, can I turn this off? Strength. And I get 10,000 strength XP. I probably should. I don't know if you could do prayer XP. If fuck, if I did, fuck. Oh well. Oh well. So I get 10,000 strength XP, and I believe that leveled me up. Yay! Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Quest over and.